can do is that give away that I won. So Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with another unboxing video for you. I received two packages in the mail recently and I'm super excited about both of them because I'm pretty sure I know what both of them are. So the first package is from Amazon. I'm pretty sure that it is a giveaway that I won, so really excited about it. It is a giveaway that I won. So the book is The Fever King by Victoria Lee. I won a giveaway on somebody's Twitter and they said that I was allowed to pick any of the Novel 19 books. And this one was in the little picture that she included, so I was like, it looks good, we want it. It follows a boy named Gnome. He wakes up in a hospital bed, the sole survivor of a viral magic attack on what used to be the United States. This leads to him becoming a technopath, which basically means he can control technology and this brings attention from the government. He is the son of immigrants and he's always been looking for ways to improve the laws that are set in place for deportation. So Gnome ends up accepting the offer that the government gives him to teach him how to use his abilities and he thinks that this is a way that he can enforce change on the world and then he meets the son of the commander and I'm assuming that a romance ensues, but I'm excited because LGBTQ+, and also it just sounds really intriguing, so I'm excited. The next package that I got is from Tor, and I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I requested an ARC from them because I saw a bunch of people on Twitter receiving it, and I was like, I want it so badly, so I thought I'd shoot my shot, and uh, I guess shot well, because here it is. So let's just open it. Oh. It has two books in it, and it is the one that I thought it was. It also has two cute little pins with the little spaceship on it that Tor had, so that's cute. So the first book that I requested was Middle Game by Shannon McGuire, and this is the author who wrote the Wayward Children series, and everybody loves that series, so I saw this and I was like, I want and now I have it! It follows these three children who have abilities that are similar to the gods, but they're not quite gods. There's Roger, who has very skilled with words, which causes him to be able to understand multiple languages, which makes him be able to understand the world through the power of stories. Then there's Dodger, who is Roger's twin sister, and she has an affinity for numbers and everything that she knows is through math. And then there is Reed, who is not a child. I was wrong at the first part of the synopsis, but he is very skilled with alchemical arts, and he created Roger and Dodge. He is not actually their father, but he did create them, and so he has this plan to bring them to the higher level and ascend with them. But it says that godhood is attainable, pray it isn't attained. So I think it sounds really interesting. I'm super excited. And just everything that I've heard from this author, everybody seems to love their writing, so I'm excited to see what I think of it as well. So thank you so much to Tor for sending this my way. And then they also included another book that I didn't ask for, but I think it sounds really interesting. It's called Bedfellow by Jeremy C. Ship, and it seems to be like right up my alley. I'll read you the little blurb thing because it's like super short, but it says, when the thing first insinuated itself into the Lund family household, they were bemused. Vaguely human-shaped, its constantly changing cravings seemed disturbing at first, but time and pressure have a way of normalizing the extreme. Wasn't it always part of their lives? As the family makes more and greater sacrifices in service to the beast, the thrall that binds them begins to break down. Choices must be made, prices must be paid, and the Lunds must pit their wits against a creature determined never to let them go. Psychological warfare. Sanity is optional. Like, uh, what? I think it sounds so good, and I'm so excited for this as well, so thank you so much to Tortine. I'm definitely going to be getting to this very quickly. My ring light just died. Did you guys see that? Whoa. Alright guys, so that is my little unboxing this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!